Greetings students, welcome again to New Interchange, intro book, unit seven. And we're on the last lesson, which is a reading lesson on page 45, all right? And so whenever we read, we read for comprehension. Comprehension means to understand. You comprehend. Comprehension is the noun. Comprehend is the verb. Did you comprehend the story? No, my comprehension is not good. And so we read and we pay attention because we're looking for information. And so look at your slide and exercise A, read the article. What's in the two houses? So we're going to read, I'm going to read about two different houses two different kinds of houses. And I'm gonna talk about what's in the house. What are some different things in the house? And so look, complete the chart. Pay attention. Three chairs, many books, colorful paintings, porch with a pink floor, two beds on the floor, wood burning stove. Okay, so look, there is Sandra's house and there is Lorraine's Hogan. Lorraine's house is called a Hogan, you'll see. So number one, there is a porch with a pink floor. Well, that's Sandra's house. What else? There are, there are, for Sandra's house, two more things we're looking for. Two more f items of furniture. And for Lorraine, there is a what? And there are, remember, is is for singular, are is for plural. And so you're looking for singular words and plural words. All right, so let's read. You can see on your screen and I will read. Two special houses in the American Southwest. Okay, so North, West, North, South, East, West, Northwest, Southwest, Northeast, Southeast. So this is in the Southwest part of the United States. In the Southwest part, it's hot. So look, look at the pictures. What is special about the two houses? Look, the houses are very different. The, the lady, uh, Sandra, her name is Sandra. She's sitting on a porch very nice house, very pretty, very colorful. But look at the, the other house. Is that a house? It looks like a pile of dirt, but it's a house and it's called a Hogan, a very unique style of house for Native Americans, people who lived in America before the British came to America. And so listen, in San, so listen, pay attention. In San Antonio, Texas, there is a purple house. This house is the home of Sandra Cisneros. Ms. Cisneros is a Mexican-American writer. She is famous for her interesting stories. The house has a porch with a pink floor. The rooms are green, pink, and purple. There are many books and colorful paintings. Many other houses near Miss Cisnero's house are white or beige. So her house is very different. Some of her neighbors think her house is too colorful, but Miss Cisneros loves it. Okay, so what about this house? It's colorful, has different things in it, and so let's look at the next house on the right. Every year, many people visit the land of the Navajos, the largest Native American tribe in the Southwest. You see, before Europeans went to America in the 1500s and 1600s, there were already some people that were living there. 
We call those people Native Americans. And so this group of Native Americans are called the Navajos. Most people stay in hotels, but some are now staying in traditional Navajo homes called Hogan's. Hogan's are made of logs and mud and have dirt floors. Lorraine Nelson, a school teacher from Arizona, Arizona is a state, now invites visitors to stay in a Hogan on her property. Her Hogan has three chairs, two beds on the floor, and a wood-burning stove. Ms. Nelson teaches guests about Navajo traditions. All right, let's look at Sandra Cisnero's house. There is what? There is a porch with a pink floor. What else? There are, look at the words above, there are, what, three chairs? There are colorful paintings. There are two beds. There are many books. There is a wood burning, notice plural, three chairs, plural, many books, plural, colorful paintings, plural, two beds, plural, and so we're looking for a sentence with R in it. There are many books, and there are colorful paintings. My men, colorful painting, colorful paintings. So that's what's in Sandra's house. What about Lorraine's Hogan? There is a, a what? A is singular, one. And so we're looking for uh, three chairs? No. A is singular, chairs is plural. There is a many books? No, many and books are plural. Remember, we don't mix singular and plural in one sentence. There is a colorful paintings? No, paintings is plural. There is a two beds? No, beds is plural. There is a word, wood burning stove? Yes, because wood burning stove is singular, one wood burning stove. There is a wood burning stove, and now we're looking for R words. So we're looking for plural words. There are two beds on the floor, and there are three chairs. All right, and so remember, is is singular, R is plural. And so, which house would you like to stay in? Would you like to stay in uh, Ms. Cisnero's house? Or would you like to stay in the Hogan? Do you want to sleep in a house that is beautiful colors and has the books and colorful paintings and a pink floor? Or do you want to stay in a house made of wood and mud and dirt and only has three chairs and you sleep on the floor. Which one? For me, I like Miss Cisnero's house. I don't like the Hogan. I don't want to stay in the Hogan and I think you're probably the same. All right, well that is the final lesson for Unit 7. And so remember, I really encourage you, don't listen to the videos only one time. Don't watch the videos only one time. But watch the videos at least two times, maybe three times. Because you don't get it. The first time, we never get it, and we always forget. All right, and so thank you, my great students. I'm proud of you. Chat with me, send me voice messages, send me homework on Telegram, and it's very easy for us to communicate with one another. Okay, bye-bye. See you in the next chapter, in the next unit.